Ahoy, shipmates! It's a wonderful morning in the port of Southampton. Not a breath of wind, a clear blue sky, no clouds to be seen. And some lovely water. We're here for the Ventura. Returning to the port of Southampton after a, a leg stretching exercise in the English Channel. In fact, here's a little map of where she's been. Performing some rather nice turns. Back across the English Channel, back up to the Isle of Wight. Round through the NAB anchorage, or past the, all the other cruise ships. Up Southampton Water, into Southampton. Dropping that grey water. Refilling those water tanks. Running up the engines. In fact, I did see a few of the ships performing exercises, uh, dropping their tenders and lifeboats and such like. I guess they can get out all the crew trained. Well, you can see the Ventura is passing the Azura to your left, and then coming past the Queen Victoria and the Britannia. I'll just sped up this bit to get her closer quicker. Launched in June 2007 by Dame Helen Mirren, on this. Operates from the port of Hamilton in Bermuda. Weighs in at 116,000 gross tonnes. Length of 291 metres. Beam of 36 metres. And a draft of 8 metres, which is 26 feet. Which frankly is larger than some people's pleasure craft. Nineteen decks in total. Fourteen are passenger decks. Propulsion is by six Watsila diesel engines. Speed is 21.7 knots. 42 point kilometers an hour for you continental types. And 25 miles per hour for us imperial people. Passengers are 3,192 across 3,597 berths. Not sure I understand the mathematics on that one. Even though the light this morning is fantastic, it's causing me a little problem with the reflection. I'm going to try a few shots here. I'm not sure I'm going to like the results. Well, actually, that came out better than I thought. Reflection is rather strong. Again, it looks like the swimming pool is empty. Can't actually see anyone on board. Occasionally you can see the joggers around the top of the ship, but not this morning. Yeah, surprisingly how hazy it is this morning. It's the Britannia and the Azura are really quite hazed out. Perhaps it's the fact the sun is very low in the sky. I can't control when the ships come in. I can only be here to take the pictures when they arrive. Hey, what 
I think I'm going to move around a little bit more. See if I can catch a snap. Yeah, still pretty challenging conditions. Ventura has had a, a few reliability issues during her life at sea. A power issue in 2014. Power was lost from two of its six engines. It took them about 40 minutes to get the power on. Apparently it happened again in Genoa, a week earlier. In uh, September 2018, the Ventura rescued a jet skier who ran out of petrol off the coast of Gibraltar and had drifted 100 miles into the Mediterranean Sea. That sounds pretty reckless if you ask me. Three men were rescued safely and stayed on the Ventura while the Spanish Close Guard came to collect them. Probably gave them a jolly good old telling off. Oh, with the uh, bright sunlight this morning, the, the new forest is certainly looking very green. We've had a, a few showers lately. To, Keep up the greenness, and you can see in Marchwood base, you can see the RFA Lime Bay in the background, just in the top right. Time for another shot, I think. Yes, very nice. A line bay and left shortly after the Ventura came through. And we can see at the front of the ship a couple of shipmates ready with the ropes. the ship, see what's going on. I can't see much at all. I don't know if there are many people on these ships at the moment, just the crew training. I can see one jogger on deck. In de December 2019, the Ventura suffered technical problems with her propulsion system. Tugboat assistance was called for. And overnight, Ventura was assisted back to the port of Santa Cruz in Tenerife. Repair work was completed four days later. And Ventura returned to Southampton, missing out a scheduled stop of Lanzarote and Lisbon. A reduction of 50% of the fare was promised to all passengers. A total of 600 passengers elected to be flown back to the UK by charter. During a presentation to the passengers in the 
Arena Theatre on the 16th of December 2019, Captain Andy Willard gave more details of the technical problems. On a scale of 1 to 10, he ranked this problem as a 9. He further explained that five tugs attended on the 8th of December, two of which were pirate tugs, hoping for salvage rights. I'm out of battery again. And back again. I've also sped up this bit. Parts to repair the propulsion problem were flown in from Los Angeles and Germany together with a team of technical specialists. Ventura returned to Southampton on the 17th of December, three days later than scheduled. See now, Ventura's gone past her assigned dock and is turning around at the swing turn at the end. Pretty rapidly, I'd say. And he doesn't even need any accompanying tugs. I don't know what the policy is about the size of ships and tugs. And there we go, more flat batteries. Here she goes, over to the quayside. Very smoothly done. Captain. Now I've just heard that one of the Red Funnel Ferries is stuck in the port, hence the a little visitation here by Red Kestrel. Not normally down this end of the dock, but Red Osprey is stuck at the moment and he's just wandering around waiting for somewhere to go while all this traffic's coming and going. One day when I get a bit of time, I might do a special video all on the Red Kestrel itself. Relatively new vessel for the Red Funnel Feet. In fact, their newest vessel. In service, I, was, I would think, for about a year or maybe more. Designed just for goods vehicles. And can only carry 12 passengers. Not available to the general public. See some bread lorries going to the Isle of Wight. During the current uh, pandemic, the good ship has been very busy, more so, I think, than the passenger ships. And I, as I noticed it walking. Back to my cabin, there was a, a couple of American cars parked down by the water. I don't know the years, or to be honest, I don't even know the models, but I can tell you the makes. Mainly because it says it on the front. Pontiac. I would imagine this is a straight eight. Not you on the air, maybe 40s, 50s. Or not good at my American cars. Could be 30s. I'm sure there'll be a shipmate who can tell me. And this one is a DeSoto. It says a 6 on it, so I'm imagining perhaps this is a straight 6. Looking very American inside with its plush velour interior. Very interesting. Until next time, shipmates.